Hello and welcome back to Q Sky. So today's video is a little bit longer than normal um, because of getting so much cool stuff done. I really want to do this. I made this a while ago. I tweeted it out. People were in love with it and it did really well on Discord as well. And so now I want to show it to you. And this is where we get into it. This is the Q Sky train yard. So this is where all the cargo trains are coming into to unload and you know stop for repairs stuff like that this is so cool and i've been wanting to build this for a long time it's been marked on the map since episode three so to give you an idea how long ago that was now episode 27 so that was 25 episodes ago 24 episodes ago i do apologize my maths is a little off as you get older you tend to forget math or maths whichever way you come from depending on what part of the world but yeah, we're getting into the train yard now and I'm super excited about this. This is going to be so cool. Um, if you are new to my channel though, please hit the subscribe button and stick around to the end because there's some really cool cinematics coming up. Playing about with these tracks for ages, trying to get them to actually fit was a bit of a pain because I had this idea of what I wanted it to look like and I was looking at a lot of different Japanese train yards and different designs that they had and I was like oh yeah I want to do that I want to do this I want to do that and I couldn't fill it all into this area so I tried to remake it and get it to function I say function look like it functions no one actually drives into it because everything's static uh, all the trains that are going to be in there are props they just sit there but playing about with these tracks and getting them to work was such a pain and I ended up changing it about three or four times before I was finally happy with it but I was happy with it in the end and man the end result looks amazing and this video does go on for about 20 minutes in total but please stick around to the end and see the cinematics because I promise you you will be as happy as I was because I was over the moon with it by the end of it. So as you can see, in the end, after messing about with the tracks over and over again, I just removed the road. I ended up putting it so it goes over like a little overpass so the tracks can go underneath them. It looks a lot better and allowed me to go in and really detail the area up and make it look really cool. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with this time lapse for a little bit and I'm going to come back in a little later on and discuss a few things. But enjoy guys, this is such a fun build for me. I really loved it.
So this bit was quite boring to actually do, just going around playing about PO and asphalt, just to fill in the platforms. It wasn't great fun. As you can see, I'm now deleting those ramps. They are the pier ramps. They are really cool assets. I use them all the time, but you can't really color them the way you want. You have to do it by overlaying a color cube. Uh, so a color cube, a colored square in the text customization. And it just doesn't really look good. You can't get the same color. So I end up just using a piece of asphalt, putting down the end to it. So it kind of looked like a ramp and build some fences around it. It looks a lot better in the end. I'm quite happy with it. Obviously from above, it doesn't look like there's a slight slope there, but there is. And you can see that from the more angled shots that you're going to see in the cinematics.
so I put these cranes down and I put them down where I thought they looked cool so I had three of them down and when I posted the image up uh an actual crane engineer and crane operator messaged me and said look they wouldn't be that close because they're gonna hit each other and I kind of looked at it and thought you know what you're right they are gonna hit each other but they look so good um so I ended up removing the one in the middle you'll see that in cinematics it does look kind of cool though so I'm still quite happy with it and as you can see, I'm playing about a PO there. I keep forgetting that every time you make some PO and then move it, it kind of doesn't follow the terrain a little bit and starts bending and curving. I get around that by putting the prop, the prop, I keep saying prop, putting the prop down and then converting it into a PO. I found that worked the best because it was already on the level surface and then I could move it with no problem. And I did that so I can remove the actual cargo that was on the back of these uh, little vanilla units, as it were. So. I could put my own crates on and stuff. Some of them will have stuff on it. Some of them won't because it would come off. But yeah, it just, I didn't need anything custom. I could just use a basic one and add it and change it to myself. And it looked quite cool. And I was quite happy to do so because it saves me sub into another asset really.
Okay, so the cinematic's coming up. Thank you very much for joining me. I had a great time building this. This was such a fun one, and I'm really excited to actually get this out to you. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, leave a like, and a comment. I love to reply to them. And if you're regular, do the same, except hit the subscribe button. But please hit the bell notification so you're notified when I upload a new, any new content. Because I am, I've got loads coming up. I'm working really hard to get as much done as I can before I start my full-time job. So we're gonna have as much on the channel as possible. So in case while I'm away doing work, I don't put anything up. At least then I'll have something ready to go. As always, link to my Patreons in the description below if you wish to support the channel. Thank you very much to all my Patreons. As always, you've been great. And thank you very much for joining me in Kush Guide today. And we'll see you when I upload the next episode. For the time being, please come and join me on a quick train ride.